Is your WordPress media library overflowing with forgotten files and unused images? If you're nodding your head right now, you're not alone. But what if I told you there was a way to reclaim that space in just a few clicks? All right, so you've been running a WordPress site for a while. You know exactly how this happens. You upload images for blog posts, product photos for your store, PDFs for downloads, and over time, your media library transforms into this overwhelming archive of files. Yet here's the thing, a significant portion of those files aren't even being used anymore. They're just sitting there, taking up valuable space and slowing down your site. But here's where it gets tricky. You can't just start deleting files randomly because you might accidentally remove something that's actually in use somewhere on your site. So most of us, just leave all those files sitting there, letting our media libraries grow bigger and more cluttered by the day. What if there was a way to safely identify exactly which files aren't being used anywhere on your site, so you could remove them with complete confidence? That's exactly what we're talking about today. That's why I'm excited to tell you about the unused media remover feature that's now available in Search and Replace Everything. This powerful feature was designed to solve this exact problem. The unused media remover doesn't just scan your posts and pages for media usage, it does an in-depth analysis of your entire WordPress database to find files that aren't referenced anywhere on your site. Let me show you exactly how it works. Once you've installed Search and Replace Everything, you'll find the unused media remover feature in the plugins dashboard. Using it is super straightforward. You simply click the scan button and the plugin goes to work analyzing your site. What makes this process special is that the plugin is checking every possible location where a file might be used. It checks all your posts and pages, it examines custom post types, it looks through widget content, it analyzes theme customizer settings, it even checks custom fields and metadata. After the scan completes, you'll see a full list of all unused media files on your site. For each file, you'll see the file title, the file path, the number of database occurrences, which should be zero for unused files, and the file size. This gives you complete visibility into what's taking up space in your media library. From here, you have two options. You can select individual files to remove if you wanna be extra cautious, or with one click, you can delete all unused files at once. The plugin also shows you the total amount of space you can reclaim, which is pretty cool. Now I know what you're thinking, but is it really safe to delete these files? What if the plugin misses something? And that's a valid concern, and the WP Code team has addressed it by building multiple safety checks into the system. The plugin performs an extremely thorough database scan, checking every table and field where media references might exist. While we're on the topic of media optimization, let me share a few tips to go along with this. First up, implement regular cleanup sessions. I recommend running the unused media remover scan once a month to keep your library tidy. Next, use descriptive file names. This makes it easier to identify files in your media library and can help you make informed decisions when reviewing unused media. And finally, after cleaning up unused files, consider optimizing your remaining images to further reduce their file size without compromising quality. Combining these tips with regular unused media scans means you'll maintain a lean, efficient WordPress site that loads faster and is easier to manage. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more WordPress tips and tutorials. If you have any questions about managing your WordPress media library or your WordPress site in general, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.